Welcome to a second example on how to determine a piecewise smooth curve for the curve shown below, where the curve C is equal to C sub 1 plus C sub 2 plus C sub 3. We looked at the same curve in our first example, where we focused on the endpoints of each of these segments. For this example, though, we'll focus on the equation of the lines that contain these three curves, or these three line segments. Let's begin by looking at the equations of the lines that contain these three segments. Notice how for curve C sub 1 and curve C sub 3, the vertical intercepts or y intercepts are both 0. And for curve C sub 1, the slope would be 5 halves, because from this point to this point, we go up 5 and right 2. So the equation of the line containing C sub 1 is y equals 5 halves x. And for the line containing curve C sub 3, notice how the slope would be 2 fifths, because from this point to this point, we'd go up 2 and right 5, and therefore the equation containing curve C sub 3 would be y equals 2 fifths x. Now looking at curve C sub 2, though, this one's a little more challenging. We should recognize that the slope is negative 1, because from this point to this point, we go down 1 and right 1. But to find the vertical intercept, we may have to use point slope form of a line and then solve for y. So let's go ahead and show that. We would have y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. So using this point and knowing the slope is negative 1, we'd have y minus 5 equals negative 1 times the quantity x minus 2. Simplifying, distributing here, we get negative x plus 2. Adding 5, we do get y equals negative x plus 7. So for this example, let's form a piecewise smooth curve using these equations. So for curve C sub 1, which would be along the line y equals 5 halves x, we can let x or x of t be equal to t, and therefore y or y of t would be 5 halves t. Notice how we form these parametric equations by letting x be equal to t, and these parametric equations would trace out curve C sub 1 when t is on the closed interval from 0 to 2. And now for curve C sub 2, notice how t is going to start at the value of 2, which is the same value as the x-coordinate here at the starting point of curve C sub 2. So again, we can just let x or x of t be equal to t, and therefore y or y of t would be equal to negative t plus 7, if we want 7 minus t, or for curve C sub 2, t would be on the closed interval from 2 out to a t value of 5, because notice how x is 5 at this point. Now curve C sub 3 is going to be a little bit more challenging, because notice how the x values now are decreasing, not increasing, as they were along C sub 1 and C sub 2. So for curve C sub 3, we cannot just let x or x of t be equal to t, because if x is starting at 5 and decreasing to 0, we know the interval for t is going to be from 5 to 10. Again, it has to start at a value of 5 and go out 5 units, because x decreases by 5 along curve C sub 3. So in this case, we'll have to let x of t be equal to 10 minus t. Notice how when t is 5, x is 5, and when t is 10, x is 0, which is what happens along curve C sub 3 over this interval for t. And therefore, y of t would be equal to not 2 fifths x, but 2 fifths times the quantity 10 minus t. Let's go ahead and distribute here and simplify. Distributing 2 fifths times 10 is equal to 4, so we would have 4 minus 2 fifths t. So now we have the parametric equations that would make the curve C a piecewise smooth curve. Let's also write this as a vector valued function. We can say that r of t is equal to, well, for curve C sub 1, we'd have an x component of t and a y component of 5 halves t when t is on the closed interval from 0 to 2. And for curve C sub 2, we'd have an x component of t 
a y component of seven minus t, where t is on the closed interval from two to five. And then finally, for curve c sub three, we'd have an x component of 10 minus t and a y component of four minus two fifths t, where t is on the closed interval from five to 10. So this is just another way to determine a piecewise smooth curve for the given curve shown here. Remember, the parameterization is not unique. I hope you found this helpful.